The Gauteng Health Department says it hopes to pay out most of the outstanding debt owed to medical supplies by June and Kosatu has entered the fray of a DA student wings poster. Ambosiso Khadebe with the latest news update. The Gauteng Health Department says it hopes to pay out most of the outstanding debt owed to medical supplies by June. Spokesperson Simon Swane says they are working on paying off old debt and repay companies that supply essential services. Over 100 medical supplies are owed billions of rand by the department. Swane says they do not want the non-payment of service providers to affect the provision of services. Our arrangement is that we must pay everyone who has done business with government. We must reduce the accruals and be able to pay, eventually be in a position that we are able to pay on time. We have a plan and a timetable which we think that by the beginning of the, the new financial year, I think by June we should have cleared our accruals and in, the, in that financial year we should be able to come within proper time frames of paying our service providers. Alleged Serbian fugitive Dabrasav Gavric is expected to appear in the Cape Town Magistrates Court this morning in connection with an application by the Home Affairs Department seeking to deport him to his home country. The 38-year-old was declared a prohibited person by the department last week for entering South Africa under a false name about four years ago. In a separate application, the Serbian authorities have applied for his extradition to face a 35-year jail term for the murder of a warlord and two other civilians in his home country. The extradition application is being considered by the Justice and Constitutional Development Department. But Gavrich has maintained that he wants asylum in South Africa on religious and political grounds. He says he was sentenced in absentia and did not receive a fair trial. Parliament's Select Committee on Finance says it's about time that government starts investing in education to address the damage caused by lack of skills. The committee's chairperson, Cheryl De Beer, was speaking during a review of how municipalities in the Northern Cape have been managing their finances. De Beer says it's unacceptable that only a handful of municipalities have improved. And lastly, Kosato has entered the fray of a DA student wings poster showing a young mixed race couple embracing, claiming it entrenches the notion of white supremacy. Kosatu Secretary in KwaZulu Natal, Zetulu Zipo, says the poster crafted by the DA Students Organization says black people should join the DA to have an affair with a white person. DA Youth Leader Makashule Ghana says the poster is part of a campaign to create debate about race and to say it is sexual is taking it to the extreme. About 82% of respondents in an online survey have either endorsed the poster or wondered what the fuss was all about. Catch the latest news anytime here on Newsbreak, Option 1.